yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win, yeah. LA BB, who we running with, yeah. So, you know, just a regular day, except today's the last day of training of the year. So, we're almost done with the freshman season. You know, we can't miss training, so we have the 10 alarms on. I bet some of y'all the same. Um, and you know, for those of you who are not new to the channel, for the OGs out there, you know my morning routine can be kind of long sometimes. So I like to wake up with extra room to spare. First thing in the morning, drink some water. I stay nice and hydrated. As I bet a lot of you other athletes or other people that wake up really early in the morning, you guys can probably tell I was contemplating life right there um, and wondering why I was doing this to myself. But I mean, mornings are hard, but once you get going, feels good to get done with your day early and just enjoy the rest of your day, get your classes done, and then move on with life. As you guys can probably tell, um, I'm back with another video. Um, I've been gone for a minute, um, but it's just because I've been really busy with spring. Today is the 4th of May, so it's a Thursday, um, which means it's our last training of the season. Um, so it's gonna be a funner day, I suppose. Um, it's a Jersey day, so sadly, I gave my dad all my jerseys um, to take back home. Um, but I have like this old retro jersey, I'll show you guys in a little bit. Um, but yeah. Also, I just want to thank you guys really quick um, for the recent support. We hit 5,000 subs. Um, and like again, I haven't really been active on YouTube and I'm sorry for that. Um, but yeah, it's amazing that we hit 5,000 so fast. I wouldn't have expected it. Um, and I can't thank you guys enough. Um, also, if you guys can't tell, a quick update I got a new haircut. My hairstyle looks like a burst fade. Can't really see it right now because um, I haven't gotten a fresh cut in a minute. But um, yeah, I'll show you guys some pics of what it was looking like. Um, while you guys are at it, make sure you go follow my IG, Hector.Serrano. Um, and yeah, I'll leave a link down below as always. And let's get on with the day, boys. And let me show you guys really quick the jersey I was going to wear. Um, so it's one I found that like a good one, like hella long ago. It's a thrifted like old school, I think it's like an old high school jersey. And it kind of reminded me of the Boca Juniors jersey, so I was like, I'm gonna cop it. But yeah, sadly I don't have my Spain jersey to wear today. But this is what I'm gonna wear today. It's kind of cool, I like the colors. It just has a number on the back. And yeah. So yeah guys, it's currently 6.32. Um, so we have like 13 minutes to get to the locker room. And yeah. It's another lovely day in beautiful Moraga. And look who we saw here walk into the locker room. There's even some beautiful turkeys out today. I think they're turkeys. They are actually huge. Hey turkey. Miss you, bro. Bro, what the <laughs> hell are you doing? <laughs> For those of you that remember Wade, you guys can probably tell he's changed a lot. He doesn't have that same energy in him anymore. But, you know, um, it's okay. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt since it was 6 a.m. But we expect better, Wade. What's this smell like? like? <laughs> What's this smell like? It smells like three points. That's what it smells like, boys. <laughs> Come on! Vamos. A wrap of the 2022 season season i will see you later so as you guys can probably tell um i'm not in my dorm anymore i'm not in school um and if you guys have been staying up to date with my instagram and stuff like that you guys probably already know i'm in spain um for summer so obviously you guys saw i wasn't posting as much um and it's because spring was starting and i just wanted to be really focused give my all um, and not only that, but I just saw that I don't know why, but my sleep wasn't wasn't um, at the best it's been and I was kind of stressed out with school. No one can deny that sleep is one of the most important aspects of an athlete's recovery and overall health. So it only makes sense that you would have a great bed, right? Well, thanks to FlexiSpot and their adjustable bed base S5, I can now say that my sleep quality and body have never felt better. One of my favorite features of the whole bed frame has to be the zero gravity mode, which raises your legs slightly above your heart level to keep your spine's natural curve. 
This position not only helps reduce pain, but also improves blood circulation, reduces snoring, improves digestion, and overall it just helps you get a better sleep. Some other features that also stood out to me from the adjustable bed base frame was how sturdy and the overall quality of the bed. Not only this, but it's also been tested at over 10,000 adjustment levels with a load of up to 750 pounds. FlexiSpot trusts the quality of their product so much that they offer a 10 year warranty and a 30 day risk free return service where they pick it up right from your doorstep. Even though our parents and coaches constantly remind us of how important sleep is for athletes recovery, many athletes, including myself, tend to disregard how important sleep really is pushing it aside and sacrificing it for other things we like to do. Some concerns that I found in recent studies performed by medical professionals that could arise from a lack of sleep are quicker exhaustion, decreased reaction time, difficulty learning new skills, and even poor decision making. And worst of all, an increased risk of injury. So if you think sleep is something you're lacking in your current recovery routine, or you're not getting enough sleep, maybe your sleep quality isn't that good, or maybe you just think you need a better bed, be sure to check out the FlexiSpot S5 bed frame. Like I said, I highly recommend it. I love all their products, not just their bed frames. I also frequently use their overbed table, which helps me work and watch movies from my bed. And using this, I don't have to sacrifice poor posture. Um, and it's just a great tool for me to be able to work for my bed. So make sure you guys check it out in the link down below. And don't forget to use my discount code. And let's get back to the video. As soon as I got here, I went to Sevilla. And I visited my uncle and then we watched the Sevilla Betis game. And then tomorrow, which is, what day is tomorrow? Tomorrow, which is Wednesday the 24th, I'm going to the Real Madrid game with one of my cousins. Um, and then I have a couple more games uh, I'll be watching in Spain. So yeah, I'm pretty hyped. And I want to show you guys really quick what I got um, in Sevilla too, because I got some pretty cool stuff. I'll start with the more normal thing first, I guess. Um, and of course, being in Sevilla, I had to get a Betis jersey, um, which I think is pretty sick. I really like the colors on it. Um, and yeah, it's just fits nice and I just wanted a Betis jersey, so I got that. And then thanks to my uncle, um, which is kind of a long story how he got this for me, but it's a game-worn Andres Guardado Mexico shirt. And this is my first like player-issued shirt I've ever owned. Like Usually they're just like the fan replica ones. And the quality difference is actually pretty crazy. Like it's super light. Um, like you can see how like see through it is almost. But yeah, basically just got in contact um, through a friend with Andres Guardado, um, and I was able to get a match worn shirt from him. So yeah, I was pretty hyped about that. Um, so another jersey for the collection. Obviously, I wanted to show you guys um, some stuff from the spring. So we'll go ahead and go through some of the clips. Um, and some of my favorite plays. So yeah, we played San Jose State, Sonoma State, Sac State. Um, and then we ended our last game against USF, which was a really cool game. Um, it was super foggy. Um, and it felt like a league game. Um, it was really intense and we ended up coming with a 1-0 win. So this first clip right here, um, I think it demonstrates one of my strengths, which is cutting off passing lanes. Um, and I did a good uh, job of recognizing they were gonna pass backwards. I stepped through it. Took my space. Probably could have been a little bit harder pass my teammate right there to keep him going. Um, but I kept my run. Um, took my player. Good defense right there by the San Jose guy. Um, our throw in. Um, and then I think I throw it to Owen, who checks in down low. Yeah, I throw it down. I throw it to Owen. Owen kicks it back to me. Um, and I honestly think this was a pretty good cross right here. Jude was crashing, Jude was crashing in near post. Um, and he almost got his head on that. Um, so yeah, overall good play from 18 to 18. And then this next one was some good pressure, followed my man, made sure they couldn't come inside. Um, and then when I got outside, I got on my man and blocked the cross um, and then connected a pass with my teammates. So that's some great defensive work right there um, and didn't rush anything, so yeah. This is probably one of the worst moments from spring right here. Um, this hurt a lot. Um, I thought I had my back injury flare up again. Um, but basically, as you can see, um, I went to ta tackle and then I get um, hit from behind by the San Jose State player. And then he steps on me after the play, um, which is kind of absurd. Um, but, you know, I didn't let it get um, to me. Um, and I'm surprised the ref only gave a yellow. But, you know, we move to spring game. Um, and, yeah, and we learn. So, yeah, kind of a scary moment, but we're all good. Um... <clears throat> This next play here, um, I do a good job again of reading the game. Um, I, I feel like I had some good positioning there, good spacing between um, the back line, um, and I was ready for that. I saw it coming, so stepped pretty hard, didn't let him turn, had his back to goal, so it was 
Good opportunity to press there and we won the ball back. It's a pretty good defensive action by me there. Some scramble play inside the box. I mean, I was just poaching on the outside, waiting for it to come out. Came out, took a poor touch, but I do good to get back, um, get my body in front of the ball, and then just do a good job keeping the, keeping the ball. I think I get the throw and you can't really see me. I get it to Max, Max plays it back to me. Hit him with the outside pass, bro was on the ground, um, but sadly we lost the ball. Um, but we got a free kick actually, so yeah, it wasn't too bad of a play. Which again, just demonstrating my strength, just reading the game and using my speed to get down the line. Better job of communicating to my winger to be in tighter earlier, so then they can't, they don't even have that option of playing the wide player, because if we would have gone broken there, that would have been a pretty bad counter. Um, so I recognize Max is coming in hard. Um, the center back is gonna have to take a big touch to get around him. Um, he can't catch me, just take it down the line, pace abuse him, um, and then I get inside, take my touch inside towards the box, play a nice ball into Finn. Sadly, the first one, second one, Third one doesn't go in, and then finally Cole puts it away for the boys. But yeah, it felt like a FIFA goal. It was like, oh my gosh. I was like, no, there's no way this doesn't go in. Um, so thankfully it did. Um, and yeah, um, I'm excited you guys finally got to see some clips of me playing in college. Um, of course, there aren't uh, season games yet, but we're working for that. Um, and in fall, hopefully we get our first real minutes. Um, so yeah, so I'm hyped for that. and. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, kind of a different type of thing. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy these videos where I just talk with you guys um, and, and hope you, hopefully you learn some stuff because at the end of the day, that's what I made this channel for. Um, that's what I make this content for to help kids um, who were in the same position as me when I was growing up um, and didn't really have um, ideas of what they wanted to do football wise or how the college recruiting process went, etc., etc., etc. Um, so yeah, so if you guys aren't following me on any of my other platforms on Instagram, go, go hit that follow button. And yeah, see you guys in the next video.